Hey, what's happening guys? Uh, about a month or so ago, we did a couple videos on radio. We made an AM transmitter. Somebody asked for an FM transmitter, and I said we'd, uh, we'd get to it, and we are going to do that today. But I'm going to tell you a secret. I don't know how to make an FM transmitter. RF was never my thing, okay? I spent my whole career doing DC work. DC, I know 9 volts is always 9 volts. You know, 150 milliamps, 150 milliamps. When you start messing around in RF ranges, 9 volts is 9 volts and 150 milliamps is 150 milliamps, except on Thursday if it's less than 65 degrees, in which case it's something entirely different. Now, of course, I am doing that for dramatic effect. It's not really that bad, but RF can be a little bit confusing. So, I went on the internet and I just stole this FM transmitter plan. I'm not going to get into this too deeply. What do we need to make an FM transmitter? We need an oscillator to make a carrier. We need an oscillator that we can modulate to modulate the signal because what do you guys remember from the first radio videos? Anybody? Bueller? No one? Modulation is information. Doesn't matter whether it's sound or data. We modulate the signal, we put information into the signal. So here's our microphone, and this plan also has an audio socket so that you, you know, you could put in music. But I wouldn't recommend you do that because pretty much everywhere in the world, if you broadcast music without being a licensed radio station, some facet of your government is going to come knock on your door. So just talk into it. Say things like testing one, two, three, and keep it low power so that, you know, you're within whatever the rules are for your country. Anyway, microphone comes to the first transistor. And if we follow that down around here, it comes through here, or it meets this one, comes through here, it goes back through here. And we come to our first oscillator. And this is adjustable. So this is going to be our carrier oscillator. We're going to modulate that. Then we have two more tuned circuits, also known as tank circuits, to boost up the seal. And basically, that's all that's happening here. We're inputting an audio signal in here. This is a sensitivity adjustment. This is a frequency adjustment. This is our main oscillator. Have another oscillator here and another oscillator here. We're boosting the signal and we are outputting the FM, the frequency modulated signal. This is our carrier frequency, and this is supposed to be 98 megahertz. We'll see what it actually comes out as, but we're modulating it a little bit. Maybe it's 96, maybe it's 100. That's what we're doing. We're modulating that signal up and down to put the information into the signal. So I'm going to go on KeyCAD and try and draw this out. And then we are going to send it to our friends at PCBWay. And within a week, we should have some boards. I'm not going to go through the drawing of this with you because this is not my circuit. And frankly, it's going to be ugly. But I'll be back when it's done. Today's video is brought to you by PCBWay. They're a leading PCB manufacturing and assembly facility in China. They run three shifts a day for a fast turnaround. And I've ordered from them, and I've gotten my stuff in like 10 days. Basic two-layer boards are just $5 plus shipping, and you get 10 of them. You also get engineering support after the, after the sale, but before they're made, including automated optical inspection, x-ray check, and CCD-controlled drilling. So check out their website. I put a link down below. Look it over, see what they do, and decide if they're right for you. So it's December 9th, and a week has passed, and we got our boards back from PCB Way. And I think they look pretty good. So I am going to put this together. And you and I are going to find out if it works. This is version 1. And if it works, we will put it together. And uh, we'll do up a version 2 that has the, uh, the values and stuff on here to make it easier. And uh, probably make the Gerbers available and you guys can uh, do your own. Several hours later, it's all soldered in place and ready to go uh, if we power it up it 
you can see the LED light up and uh, I'll show you here in a second the actual power output on this so we can calculate what we're doing hook it up to this meter here which is set up as a milliamp meter there you can see we have our LED is lit maybe we could even focus and we're getting about 20 milliamps out and uh, since we're running this we're coming out of the holder hang on to your hang on to your drinks boys we're running this at 8 volts that's going to give us about 150 milliamp or 150 milliwatts or so so with a short antenna like this you know i don't think we're we're getting out of the room I mean, it's possible but this is not the right antenna because we are kicking it at around 100 megahertz here if we there it is again we bring in the radio testing one two one two one two one two I can't really get everything in the picture here hold on one two one two one two so you can hear it it gets in there so it works it's not ideal because you know once again going from the drawing I had to kind of fudge a couple things um, I didn't have any 47 picofarads here for this, this this final, so I had to fudge them with 22s. But uh, I think it's good enough for our first draft. And if you guys are interested, we'll work on this for part two. So let me know what you think. If you enjoyed this, please give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to uh, PCB Way. Big thanks to you guys for watching. That's it. I'm out. Peace.